Welcome, friends. Many of us have been wearing masks around for quite some time. And while you hear lots of people complain about wearing a mask, today our talk is about masks. And so what I would like to begin by sharing is that most of us wear masks regularly, or at least we did previously. Maybe we've learned how not to wear masks. Even though we're not actually wearing a physical mask. Right. So today our talk is about masks, and we are not talking about the typical masks that you may hear lots of people complain about. What we're talking about are the masks that we wear that we hide behind. And I was kind of wondering as we were thinking about this subject, if maybe there are many people that really rather like the mask because they can hide behind it for whatever purpose they want to. I know it's hard to tell who's who out there in the world. You have to look really quick, really carefully and quite often hear a voice or look at a hairdo or whatever to tell who's behind that mask. But we're talking about the masks that we wear that maybe other people don't know we're wearing. So what we're really talking about is stepping into being our authentic self rather than wearing masks. And so let's look at some of the reasons that we wear masks and what some of our masks are. James Baldwin says that love takes off the mask that we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within. Mm-hmm. We always care. The, we, we try to present ourselves in a in the world in a particular way and we always want to be seen in a very positive light and sometimes we don't feel like we're quite worthy of that and so we try to give off a negative or a, I mean not negative but a, an alter ego a different version of who we are and um, sometimes it's quite a lot of energy to try to keep up that false persona um, when we can actually decide well, I want to be in love in this world and not worry about um, how I look and how I appear, but just be honest with who I am, we can take off those masks. We don't have to live in that persona anymore. We can actually be who we truly are. And it's so liberating and so free. In Buddhist, uh, there's a Buddhist tradition that says, things are not as they seem, nor are they otherwise. <laughs> now, I'll give you a little time to think about that. That's one of those great Buddhist stage statements that uh, gives us a lot, of, a lot of opportunity to ponder on that. Things are not as they seem, nor are they otherwise. Quite often in our minds, we have an idea of how things are around us and within us as well. And maybe those things are not actually true. And why are we trying to live up to those things that we, f- can, we believe are our higher standards, but not actually believing we are that? Mm-hmm. We're actually putting on a mask. The Buddha asserts that all the objects of the world and the names and forms of experience are manifestations of the mind. Everything that happens around us, all conditions and circumstances in our lives, are nothing more than manifestations of ideas that we hold in our own mind. That's a real science of mind principle. The idea that we hold a consciousness for that which we wish to experience in our life and it becomes manifest for us. We also talked recently about the idea that fears quite often will, um, uh, will manifest for us because we hold on to those ideas. And when we allow ourselves to shift those thoughts and move into faith, then things positive begin to happen. And so um, all the objects and forms of experience are manifestations of the mind. We hold those things, we hold those masks as the evidence of who we are and what we are. In truth, they're nothing more than projections of what we hold in our own minds. And as I listen to David talk about that, I'm thinking to myself about how many masks I think are truly genuine and authentic. Because I don't think that, at least for myself, I'll speak for myself, I don't think that I am just one character all the time. I think that I am a feeling human, and so I experience many different feelings. And I experience times of needing to let down and just have someone to vent with. 
and I experience times of feeling sad and needing to cry and yet at the same time we probably know people who constantly wear the mask of crying and everything that happens is an opportunity to cry and so if you are one of those people or if you can relate to an experience that you have where you are always something or almost always something in a certain mood or feeling or behavior then it gives you the opportunity to look at whether that's who you really want to be do i really want to cry all the time or whatever it is complain all the time and if you don't it's an opportunity to change because our genuine self our authentic self is our spiritual self and that spiritual self is whole complete and perfect it does not need any change and yet as god is all that is god is every possible personality and so with that comes the opportunity for us to step into who and what we really are and we know that when it feels right when your intuition says oh i feel free this is me then we know we've stepped into the right me for ourselves how often do you come home at the end of a long day and walk in the door kick off your shoes and say ah oh, finally i can just be me oh no i hope not <laughs> <laughs> but maybe i can just relax well, what if you could feel that way through the uh, through your entire day all the time? At any any moment of your, of your life experience, you can just say, Oh, I'm so glad I can just be me. Mm. That would be so liberating. And you can be. It's just simply as a matter of accepting yourself and the truth of who you are and realizing you are a perfect expression of, of uh, infinity showing up in the world. Yes, and so very often when there is an idea on the table, there's a song that travels through my mind from the past, and quite often I don't know all the words to it, so I just make them up as I go along. So I don't know who wrote this or what the title is, but I'm reminded of the song, Oh, the games people play now, every night and every day now, never meaning what they say now, never saying what they mean. I don't know if I started that in the right key, but anyway, <laughs> the, it's the words, it's the idea. And, and the idea that we don't need to play games, and yet, all of life can be an exciting game. So it seems like there's a, that's a controversial statement. It seems like those two aren't a match, and yet they're a perfect match. They're the law of attraction between the positive and negative, the yin and the yang, the yin and the yang. <laughs> <laughs> and so as you look at what masks you may wear, and you look at the masks that show up in your world, you have a unique opportunity to make a choice as to which mask you wear. You have a great opportunity to be anything in the world that you choose to be. And when you have all those great opportunities to be whatever in the world you want to be, choose to be you. Yes, I choose to be me. me.